Hello, everyone. This is Print Master. Welcome to the Thoughts on Episode. Now, I had now a Nutshell Commander here has this idea of, of, of a Thoughts on Episode, and might as well introduce himself. Hey, guys. Nutshell's Commander here. Okay, so I was saying that um, he had this idea about the new Intel 3DS, and um, he was saying something about uh, whether or not uh, games coming to it uh, will it make the Intel 3DS obsolete. So go elaborate on that. Well, basically, the reason why I was a bit concerned about the new 3DS is because when they announced it, and then I heard that they were going to put the Xenoblade Chronicles port over to the yeah, the 3DS version, I actually thought, hang on, does that mean they're going to start releasing games only for the new 3DS? And this has basically got me worried a bit, because... A lot of people have bought a brand new 3DS. You know, 3DS itself has really gone up in sales over the past couple of years because of all the fantastic games that have come out for it. So ultimately, I feel like if they choose to go down this route, it will be a pretty stupid choice considering how many people own a, a Nintendo 3DS already. All right, so... So to, to, this is literally when you told me this, I actually responded with this: Game Boy Color 2.0. Yeah, in, you did. <laughs> in, in that, um, the Tetris 3S, as you already know, it's insanely popular. It's it, it's pretty much make it's just, um you know backing up the Wii U's bad sales. But, yeah. Uh, having you know as you as you said like having um games that only be done on a new thing like let's say with Xenoblade. Anyway, my my natural response is that perhaps this would only work for certain games. So, um, the Game Boy Color, when you know when it came out, there are some games that can only work on the Game Boy Color. However, not every game since then has only been for Game Boy Color. Like for example, Put One Crystal is can only be done in the Game Boy Color, and Shantae can only be done in Game Boy Color. However, uh, whoa, I didn't know Shantae was that old. Yeah, it's 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 actually uh, one of the last games for the game for the Game Boy, so. Wow, it, it, it's on on the GBA like GBA release time frame. Uh, here, here I was thinking Shantae was actually more recent, like DS or 3DS. Oh no, that's the second game. Wow. Um, as I was saying, um, uh, Shantae, the original Shantae, was Game Boy was um, Game Boy Color exclusive. So, um, being that um, it can it can only be done on the Game Boy Color, not that the original Game Boy. However. How many games other than, let's say, Punk Crystal, do you remember offhand that it can only be done in Game Boy Color? I, I say Shantae because I actually have it on my 3DS, so I actually know this. Oh, right. Uh, well, to be honest, I, don't, I didn't even know you could only play Pokemon Crystal on the Game Boy Color because I don't actually have a Game Boy Color. And to my understanding, every single Game Boy Color game could also be played on the original, just minus the color for obvious reasons. Exactly. So, you know, I mean, to be honest, after thinking about it a bit, though, I do feel as though maybe people that claimed that when they released, well, when they announced the new Nintendo 3DS, people claimed that they were going to start releasing games only for that system. But after having a few talks, online about it a lot of people have pointed out that even though ironically it's called the new 3ds it's actually nothing new in terms of nintendo's history because every single handheld that has pretty much come after the game boy advance has had multitude of versions yep. so i think this is just another version of that even and the game boy itself had multiple versions because like in the, did the, it you had the game you had the original game boy you have the uh, game Boy Pocket, which is bit, which pretty much the game was smaller. Oh then yeah. Had, um, something else. They got some some other random junk nobody cares about. Then the Game Boy Color. Yeah. Um, and then the, and the Game Boy Color, which again looks like the Game Boy but better. And then Wait, the Game Boy Advance. And while not much different, it's not much, not much different with the Game Boy Advance. Just the Game Boy Advance, some random junk, the S and the SP. But all the SP is is just the Game Boy, but uh, Game Boy Advance. But you can like um, uh, close it and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I actually do own a Game Boy Advance SP. I I still have mine. I, I, I actually did like the GBA SP because it, to, to me, fixed pretty much my only problems with the Game Boy Advance. You know, I haven't even got a Game Boy Advance anymore. I only have the SP. And does anybody actually remember the Game Boy Micro? Yes, that's why <laughs> I don't have one. <laughs> 
What, what did that do anyway? Uh, the Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Micro is just like, all, all is just just a downgraded Game Boy Advance. Because um, uh, if I remember right, it, it's like the DSi in a way, in that um, it's 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 really small. How it's really small. How you can only play Game Boy Advance games. It's not backwards compatible. Uh, okay, so it's basically the original Wii Mini, <laughs> just yeah, handheld. It's like the original Wii Mini, the original DSi, whatever you whatever you call it. Yeah. Um, how? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then with the DS, as we already know, the DS, DS Lite, and the DSIs, um, of which of which some of the DSi cannot cannot have a Game Boy Advance support. So yeah, the Game Boy Advance supports, as you probably know that. That's why that's why we're stuck with my original original DS this whole time. I still have. Yeah. I still have mine. I don't have mine anymore because I kind of dropped it. Yeah. And then, <laughs> but yeah. And then now with now with the 3DS. So now again with the 3DS, the XL, just it, the rest are bigger. The 2DS, which is the cheaper version. Uh, and then we have the new 3DS and X and uh, XL. Now uh, you said earlier that um, you know pr- prior to your what you just said um, that this makes it if um, Nintendo and everyone else started making games only for the new 3DS, it makes the 2DS obsolete. Because yeah. it's like quite recent. However, I said that the the two DS only exists to be the cheaper the cheaper model. That that's yeah. the original intention and it's still selling well because of it. Yeah, that's, it is. Yeah. However, so why would Nintendo suddenly drop support for something they just made? Exactly. That's why I don't believe. Uh, I actually believe the only reason Xenoblade is actually a port to the new 3DS is probably because the original 3DS probably couldn't handle it. Yeah, I they mean, even yeah. they even have stated that yeah the new 3DS has a better processor, mm-hmm. and I assume that basically means games can be played faster, which is a plus. Yeah, no, I don't think it, I don't think it's easy at all. X and Y. Like having, uh, if, if you go, if you're like me and, and actually decide to go horde battles for EV training, you know that's so, like if you want to say want to run away from a horde of fungus, that um, yeah, hard to, it takes a it takes a long time. Yeah. However, it seems like with uh, the new with the new um 3ds, it makes stuff like this much faster. Yeah, naturally as well so, because yeah. it's got a better yeah. processor. Yeah. So w- yeah. what I think of this is similar to it's going to be similar to the uh, Game Boy Color in that. There will be games made just for the new 3DS, but only because it cannot be done on the original 3DS, which is still selling hotcakes. So pretty much any game made for the 3DS, they probably will aim to make it functional on the original, especially yeah. if it's a big series game like with Pokemon and Smash Brothers. Well, we all know there's only going to be one Smash Brothers it's, since there's only one generation. It's, it's big, okay, okay, speaking of Smash Brothers, it's been confirmed that um, you can actually use the new 3DS's um, C-Stick for Smash Brothers. Oh, wow. So you, can, you can actually use it for Smash Brothers. And this is what I like about um, stuff like this. In that um, the, new, the new stuff, you can actually make some of the old stuff much better by adding more support. Um, like more support such as um, the C-Stick. Add like some added stuff. Again, for, again I'm going again, to take Shantae into another um, example. Believe it or not, because Shantae uh, got released during the start of the Game Boy Advance... Way for mm-hmm. actually decided to have some sort of um, support for the Game Boy Advance by having a specific transformation that can only be work on the Game Boy Advance. Oh, I see. That's cool. And be- and for those of you who just got the game for Virtual Console, it doesn't work on the Virtual Console, believe it or not. It's like um, this, uh, the specific transformation doesn't work on the Virtual Console uh, port. That's weird. I but guess they the- base the port on the original, not the GBA yeah. version. Yeah. Um. And that actually was kind of funny that um it it kind of was once kind of makes you want to buy the original one because the exclusive transformation is kind of OP because it's like the combination of, of which everyone every other transformation, which is a big deal. All right. Uh, but uh, however, the original Shantae, like if you look on Amazon, on eBay, whatever, they're actually freaking expensive. <laughs> Yeah, most retro games seem to be very expensive, especially if they're from a big name. Yeah. I mean, a shop, a shop nearby where I live, had the original Smash Brothers on the N64, and it was unboxed, no manual, no nothing, just the cartridge. It was twenty five pounds uh, to you. That would be roughly around forty dollars. Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's kind of a, kind of a lot considering how old the game is. Exactly, and it's unboxed. 
And yet, ironically, he had Melee for £20, which would be less than $40. So work that one out. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the better version was cheaper. <laughs> so anyway, as I was, yes, anyway, as I was saying, that, um, I think it's better off like, if... Um, if Nintendo would actually, you know, make games for the continue, like continue release games for the original 3DS, but have mm-hmm. some sort, but probably have some sort of um, uh, support for the new 3DS, like for example, C state cameras or uh, yeah, yeah. improved processing power for certain actions that uh, might take forever. However, I think it would actually be a big deal for third parties if you not think about it. Because could be third parties really love added stuff, really love like added processing power, added GPU, whatever. Like third parties yeah. really love making more, th- making um more stuff. So I yeah. guess it's kind of a might be a bigger deal for third parties. It's it's funny you mention third party because when I was talking to Kevin Dinaman Twelve about this, I actually said, "What if they're going to make Monster Hunter Four the new 3DS only?" You know, the, the well, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate to us. Yeah, you know, that they were gonna make that f- new 3DS only. Yeah. You know, I mean, yes. I know they're not. I know they're not because it's been confirmed to be yes. just a 3DS game. But you know, if, if they did that, the mayhem would be ridiculous. Oh, it would. But uh, yeah, it would. However, for for like for other third parties who just love making like more. Like more freaking armpit hairs on old dudes, and no, you're not ready to see it all. <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> I mean it's true. It's true. <laughs> but, I mean... um, yeah, for those third parties, yeah, I think it would be a bigger deal for them to release just on that. Yeah, it, uh, which... yeah, considering yeah, despite you know the three S is actually quite huge, um, uh, it's actually quite huge, um, and considering how certain third parties don't like the Wii U at all, unfortunately, but, um, yeah. But, uh, but making stuff for the new 3DS might be a bigger inc- um I, I guess to say a bigger reason to have new 3DS is just for the third parties. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm, yeah, I'm still sticking to there will still be games for the original 3DS, just that either they're going to add new 3DS support or they're just going to add the new 3DS, just have a you know, game just for it, but only because it won't work on the, on the current one. Yeah, the only worry I have, though, is that it makes people... Makes the developers want to aim for that model rather than the original, which would be a bit silly though because of how many people own a 3DS. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't. I think financially they probably wouldn't do it. Yeah. You know, but the downside is they'd have to make games that have lower power because of the lower model. Yeah. But this is this is essentially just history repeating itself, like with the original DS and the GBA. Well, every handheld ever. <laughs> you know, it's literally just been set one version after another. Even the PS, the PSP had like God knows how many different versions, and I imagine the Vita is probably going to do the same. Even though the Vita is very relevant right now, <laughs> but you know, but the, when I think about it, the, the Nintendo 3DS has actually gained quite a lot of versions as it is. Yeah. In, yeah, in a no, short, such a short span of time as well. Yeah. It, are, it already has three. So, it actually now it's getting yeah, five. So. Yeah, it already has three. Yeah. Well, maybe that's why it's called 3DS. <laughs> <You know. laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 next thing you know, I'll be getting the 1DS, <laughs> which, <laughs> which will have, one, which, which will have one screen. Should be one screen, but it's big up. <laughs> or, or go to a ridiculous run, have one with three screens. Oh, goodness. Yeah. I don't, how, oh, I, I don't know how that will work, nor will it not work. Not pretty sure it will not work, but still. Yeah. It, okay. Yeah. So, um. Well, normally this, this part I would be like normally this part would be more like crazy poet cast like. However, because I'm pretty sure they don't care about talking about it, I might as well take about it now. Um. What's actually interesting is that from I'm reading stuff, they say that um, the storage would now be micro SD instead of um, regular SD. Like for me, it's kind of a sort of a big deal because I have micro SDs and the SD adapters suck. Um, yeah. It's like micro SD, the, the SD adapter you put the um, as like a micro SD and act like a regular SD. Those suck because like um, they stop working over time. Oh, so that's why a lot of mine have suddenly stopped working. Yeah, because like, because <laughs> I've I've already burned through like three of them, and um, it, oh, this one it, isn't. Yeah, I burned like three of them. Like the adapters, they just the, the problem is like that they stop working over time, 
And the, the problem yeah. is I can't find I can't find some a place that only sells the adapters. So, yeah. Because if I'm going to write an adapter, I have to buy like, a corresponding micro SD. It's funny because all the micro SD cards I have, I actually end up putting them into a bigger uh, uh, device. And then I have to put them into an SD card reader. I actually end up putting them into an SD card. That's how I do it anyway. Which is kind of weird. It's like putting a card in another card. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of like what the Ace card did, actually. Yeah. But, you know, micro SD on the new 3DS, I, I don't know if that's a good idea. Yeah, to me, it's pretty relevant, but I suppose it's to make more a little bit of more room for the for the actual internal hardware. But uh, I'm sure Nintendo have a reasoning behind it. Yeah, probably. Or prob- yeah, probably because they think micro SDs are better in general. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that, that, it, that's, I just I don't know. And again, uh, smaller is considered better in this age, so... Yeah. Take that however you like. <laughs> okay, so uh, what else is to say? N- more buttons. That oh yeah, the the, the Circle Pad Pro. Uh, you know that you have you had, have you ever had a Circle Pad Pro? No, I haven't. Neither have I, and I and neither have I, and I kind of kind of figured out, um, uh, kind of kind of a new kind of new well, that's going to be really terrible, because um, according 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 it's confirmed that Smash Bros would not support the, the uh, Circle Pad Pro. <laughs> okay. Even though the new 3S is basically that built in. Right. That's so weird. The people who have a, a Sacred Pad Pro pretty much got it for, either got it for just Kid Icarus or got it for nothing. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, what does a Sacred Pad Pro? Yes, actually, speaking of Kid Icarus, yeah. That's also one of those games that actually would work better on a new 3DS. Part, mostly because like, it's a bigger screen and the, stick, the C-Stick working as a camera is perfect. Oh, and the game runs faster. That means... Uh, pits can break the four four a lot quicker. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, so, so uh, yeah, there's all, all the other junk that I don't care about. Uh, oh, but yeah, it's currently backwards compatible. It's going backwards compatible with the DS and DSi. Oh, course. that's not too bad. Yeah, I was, I was actually, actually, I was actually afraid of this because um, uh, I think you said, I think you said before that um, you're not sure whether or not it's backwards compatible. Since the DSI, since um the DSI was uh didn't, wasn't compatible with the GBA and uh, people and you might uh, fear that the, the new 3S might not be DS compatible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it actually com- it's, uh, according to this, it is it, it is confirmed that uh you can actually continue playing the DS stuff. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good on them part. Then again, backwards compatibility seems to be something Nintendo is really good at. Yep. Makes me makes me wish the Wii U could play GameCube games, but uh the, the Wii does it, so it's not too bad. Yeah. And oh yeah, and the whole three and new three are, are not re, are region locked, which is no surprise. <laughs> is, aren't they all region locked? All the three DSs are region locked. The DS is not. I know the DS is a. The DS is region free. They're yeah. Free to play, you can you, you can still play um DS games on a new three like I say a, a Japanese Pokemon game on a new American new three DS or European three DS. Yeah, DS, it'll still work. <laughs> I actually got my Pokemon Platinum ported over from in the US, and that's how I know the DS was region free. So <laughs> that's pretty fun. But the 3DS is region locked. I think the Wii was region locked as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it would be. Uh, yeah. However, so I'm not gonna talk. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about how well region locks because that's not the point of this video. No, no. And plus, it, it, plus I don't want to talk about Crunchyroll versus we're talking we're revolving ten on region locks. Okay, uh, I've got nothing else, nothing more to say. So if you have, you have more, anything more to say before I end off? Nope, I think I've said pretty much anything to okay, say. Okay, so since um, I pretty much talked about everything I need, need to talk about, so uh, thanks, Night Tales Commander, for sticking around for this video. No problem. Uh, thanks for having me on. All right, so see you guys later for another video, and hopefully you can take a market course submission without trouble. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, see you later. <laughs>